This is the Winter Soul. Ah. Hey everyone, here's the Marvel Legends John Walker Captain America from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier series. The box is slightly different from the normal Infinite series that we have. And I think the figure already looks awesome on the clamshell just like this. It has the American flag design at the front and also a shield at the bottom left corner. I find the printing of the shield kind of um, make it look kind of redundant because we already have the actual shield at the front of the clamshell over here. So there's kind of like a double shield at the front. At the side is a full view of John Walker and on the other side is a closer look at him. At the back, there isn't any character bio, just a picture of him standing which is the same as the side. Here's the bottom of the box. And at the top of the box, there is a plastic hook. You can see the shield and the head sculpt clearly. And yeah, look for yourself, the head sculpt is really good. Over here, we have a sticker of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier pasted at the front of the packaging. But I wish that we actually get this sticker inside the box so that we can, you know, paste it somewhere because it's actually quite nice. Here is a size comparison with the Infinite Series box and also the recent Fox Movie X-Men box. The new box is smaller than the other two boxes, but of course, it is definitely bigger than the boxes for the army building figures like this. You can see here that it's about the same size as the Fox Movie X-Men boxes, but it is definitely narrower. It is similar to the Fox Movie X-Men boxes because it doesn't have the character bio at the back. So now, let's get him out of the box. Here's the figure in the clamshell. And yeah, I don't know what's up with this background. It's just a background of a city but in red. And the figure over here. Only comes with the alternate unmasked head and a shield. Let's get him out of the clamshell. Here's the figure. First off, so we can get it out of the way, is the shield. The paintwork on the shield doesn't really look that great. The red, the silver and also the blue all doesn't shine. It's really like dull in color. It's matte and yeah, no shine to it at all. And one thing different is that it has the clip and the pack unlike the previous movie Captain America's that has the look like this. So yeah, something different about the shield. And mine has a paint chip over here. Yeah, not just a paint chip, but you can see that the paint is not really that great on this part of the shield. Here's a look at the alternate head. And really, look at those eyes. It's really painted well. The head scalp is really on point really look like Wyatt Russell. Really awesome looking head sculpt. Now, on to the figure. This John Walker Captain America figure is exactly the same as the US agent version of him. These two figures are just repaints of each other. They are exactly the same from head to toe. Even the shade of red of the strips of red on the chest and on the arms looks the same, except for the gloves where the Captain America version has brighter red. The scalp of the figure is great. It's really similar to many of the Steve Rogers Captain America figures that we've had before. But this is definitely kind of a retool. Besides the retool of the scalp, you can also see that this figure have the pinless elbow joints and knee joints. So I think Hasbro has been updating quite a number of their figures that they have retooled with these pinless joints and that is great. The head scalp is really on point and really has great likeness to Wyatt Russell. One thing that I spot about the head is at the side over here, the scalp of the strap actually goes all the way to the back. It's unpainted but it is there as compared to the other side where they actually cut off that part. It's the same case as the US agent. There you can see the sculpted strap over here that goes all the way under the ear. But on the other side, it's the same as the John Walker Captain America, whereby the part over there is cut off under the ear. Here is the figure with the unmasked head, really looks good. 
The belt is a separate piece which cannot be taken off. There's no pack or anything that you can like take off the belt, you can't. And there's a fake gun over here. I wish Hasbro would stop with these fake guns. <laughs> Why don't they just make a holster and like put a proper gun on the figure? Here's the back of the figure and finally we have a hole for the shield because for the previous Captain America figures, we never had that hole. This is due to the new shield having the pack to insert because for most of the MCU Steve Rogers Captain America, we get this sort of shield. The one with the uh, straps for the arms to go in. So that is something different for this John Walker Captain America figure. The US flag at the side is printed ok I guess. It is grey in colour. And yeah, overall the figure really does look great and it's really accurate to the series. One thing about the figure is that because it is the same as the US agent figure, you can actually put in the alternate hands from the US agent to the Captain America version of him. So they may have a slight difference in rate, but if you put in if you change both of them, they look okay. See, even now the shade of red is not too obvious. The US Asian hand has a slightly darker red. There. But even when you put them together like this, yeah, you can see kind of a slight difference, but not too obvious unless you really look carefully. So yeah, you can use the US Asian hands on this John Walker Captain America figure. Articulation. For the head, this figure has the standard new ball pack by Hasbro, which is this sort of double-ended ball pack. And one good thing about this is that you can't see the hinge joint on the neck. Like the older figures, if you make the head look up, you can see the hinge joint, but this wouldn't have that problem. I guess one interesting thing about this joint is that it allows the head to be tilted left and right like this. So it's able to look up this much and down app crunch this much to the front and to the back arms go up this side bicep swivel double hinge elbow joint wrist swivel and hinge joint as usual waist swivel the belt you can push it below the waist so that it doesn't affect the waist swivel this is the amount of split that it can do. Leg goes up this much to the front. Double hinge knee joint goes this much. Thigh swivel, calf swivel, and the standard hinge and ankle rocker of the feet. Here's a frontal split of the figure. So the articulation of the figure is pretty much decent and the same standard as most of the recent figures. Quite good. Here's the figure with the rest of the crew. Sam Wilson, Captain America. Winter Soldier. Baron Zemo. And the US Asian version of him. I think these figures scale quite well with each other except for Captain America which look kind of slightly smaller when they stand side by side. But I think once you put them in dynamic poses, you can't really see that difference. Here's a comparison with worthy Captain America, Infinity War Steve Rogers. This is the Winter Soldier. Ah. The Captain America figure from the Winter Soldier movie and I think this one is from the Age of Ultron movie. You can see that the US agent figure is actually slightly taller than most of the cap figures. Just slightly. And yeah, earlier on I was saying about the shield having dull paintwork. This is definitely better because you can see how well it shines compared to what we got over here. This paintwork is definitely better. I find that John Walker Captain America is a great figure. Both the mask and unmasked head sculpt is really really great, really accurate to the series. The appearance of the figure is also on point to the costume in the series as well. It is great that this figure has the pinless joints and the articulation on it is also pretty much standard so it's quite good to me. And also that the shield can be attached to the back and I think we should have that because although there would be a hole at the back of the figure, it's pretty much standard that Captain America, whether it's Steve Rogers or John Walker or even Sam Wilson, that the shield can be attached to the back. The only downside about this figure is that 
it doesn't have alternate hands. And also the fake gun on the hips. Thanks for watching. Do check out my other comparison and reviews and hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.